Hello everyone. Well, I've just had this unusually shaped parcel delivered. I wonder what it could be. I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest, that it was delivered in this shaped parcel because I would have thought the seller would have known that the handle comes off this Hoover High Power Compact Exclusive. Well, I think that's what it is. I am expecting another Hoover Upright from this era, but uh, I think this will be the High Power Compact. If it isn't, well, we'll soon find out. Right, let's uh, have a look. Let's hope the handle, which is quite fragile, let's hope that's fine. It would be ironic if the handle's broken because I used to have a new old part handle that I think is the color of the handle on this cleaner. And I sold it. All right, we'll have to, have to open this at the top first. Ah, right, it's well packed by the looks of it. So I'll just pause the camera for now and uh, remove the box and we'll have a closer look at this old Hoover cleaner. This is very well packed, I must say. Hmm, looks like this person may have bought a shark. Well, I'd rather have this, to be honest. All right. I'm just about, just about see the cleaner now. Okay. I'm going to slide out this Uber High Power Compact slowly, take the rest of the packaging off and uh, see what I've bought. Well here she is, a Hoover High Power Compact Junior, an exclusive version to electricity board showrooms. This dates from the late 70s early 80s but we'll have a look at the rating sticker and we'll find out exactly when this came off the production line. So basically it's a hard bag Hoover Junior with the U1036 style body here, the head, and of course with the dirt searcher headlight. I've got a similar model, the soft bag version on my channel, but that's a bit later. This is an earlier version because it's got a wheel here for the height control. The later one has more of a lever. Well, so far, so good. Looks in exceptional condition. Let's have a closer look. This is a very, very 80s looking vacuum cleaner, the cream and brown, very popular in the 80s. All in all, I'm very happy with this machine. It is absolutely fantastic. I think it's possible that this has had some work done to it. I can't believe that the shine on this machine is just the fact it's hard to be used, although it's possible. Uh, I can see a bit of damage here just to the hood, just a little bit of damage. So yeah, I think this is, this has been refurbished. I don't think it's survived all this time looking like this without somebody having a hand, bit of spit and polish. So as long as this motor sounds fine, I possibly will give it another coat of polish. But all in all, looks very good indeed. Let's have a look at the underside of this cleaner, see if it's as good as the top half. Judging by the underside of this Hoover cleaner, I don't think I'm going to need to put any new brushes or a new belt. This has had a new belt fitted very recently and it looks genuine. This side next to pulley it says. That's quite very, very stiff so it's definitely definitely a new belt and it is genuine it's a genuine hoover belt the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action oh, it's moving a bit easier now now the brushes have been replaced but they're a bit of a mishmash we've got one black brush and one gray brush 
Are they about the same height? If they're not, um, I would say the black ones are possibly a bit, a bit longer. I don't know if that's going to affect the cleaner at all. I'm just going to open up these two screws. You can see a bit of fluff actually. Let's have a look at the um, if the suppressor. If I can see the suppressor on this model of Junior, it might be tucked away where I can't see it. But it'd be interesting to see if there's any dust and fluff behind this motor cover. I've just got two screws to undo. Now this has still got a, all a metal casting at the front and a metal base plate later changed to plastic oh there is look oh I thought that was broken yeah there's there's two leads that lead to the headlight bulb there we've got the cord clamp that's intact I'll just get to a vacuum with a dusting brush if I've got one to hand I'm not at home at the moment I'm not sure where the suppressor is on these uh, it's possible it's been removed unless it's on the underside I have a feeling it might have gone there there is a little space where it could have could have could have been so I can't see the suppressor yeah, a little bit of fluff, so I'll just get a vacuum and give that a quick, quick vacuum out. I think that's all I'll have to do with this machine. I thought it was apt to use a Hoover Constellation from 1980 to clean up this Hoover Upright from a similar era. I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, we'll check the rating sticker, which I believe it'll be underneath the handle. Or just underneath the bag compartment. So these, you know, fair, fairly uh, closely related, I'd say. The, 80s Constellation and this Hardbag Junior. It's a shame they never did an exclusive, well I don't know of one, an electricity board exclusive Constellation. Wouldn't that be great? I've got in these, in these brown and beige colours. That'd be good. Well that's something one could do with a battered old Constellation if you're any good at spray painting. Do one to match and pretend there was an exclusive electricity board constellation. Right, okay, that's that done. So it looks possible that the bellows is mm, starting to crack. But it looks like they're the original cream bellows. Yeah, I do have one brand new genuine hoover cream bellow most of the replacements you can buy and i've got a few of those are white but i've really got that earmarked for my high power compact the version without the headlight but that is slightly going but it's i'm hardly going to use this machine much so i don't think it's going to matter right well we'll check on the rating sticker in a minute but first I'm just going to turn down the top hook to release the cable, which looks original. Beige colour cable. 
and even at the bottom here that's intact often would break on cleaners like this and the starlight and the junior deluxe you'd often find those broken so it's nice to see that it is intact and this is an Electra plug which sort of proves that well it doesn't prove but it does point to the fact that this is an electricity board exclusive because Electra was the electricity board's exclusive line obviously made by major manufacturers Hoover obviously made uh, some Electra branded washers I think and Goblin made some Electra vacuums so instead of having an Electra branded cleaner made by Hoover Hoover just supplied electricity boards with exclusive variants. I'll just pop Connie out of the way because I need to recline this machine to have a look at the rating sticker. This is Hoover model U2132, serial number U2132 240 volts, 50 hertz, 300 watts, made in the UK by Hoover Limited. I believe the serial number dates this Hoover upright to 1980, which is the same year this Hoover Constellation was made. So yes, they are very closely related. Same sort of age, give or take a few months. Well, several months or maybe even a year has passed since I first unboxed this vacuum at my mum's house. The vacuum has come home now and I thought I would get the video finished and do a bit of a demo of this Hoover High Power Compact. I fitted a few new parts and I've also obtained a set of cleaning tools for this machine. So I'll quickly show you the improvements I've made, little repair I had to do, and then we'll fire up this bad boy and get it beating, sweeping and cleaning. If I recall correctly, the headlight bulb had failed on this cleaner, so it's got a new headlight bulb. I've replaced the brush roll bearings, but also I've replaced the bellows, which if you remember, well, you should remember because it's in the first part of this video, the bellows that were fitted had started to crack. So I managed to obtain some genuine bellows on eBay in a cream color. It is still possible to buy bellows for this type of cleaner if you look hard enough, but they tend to be non-genuine and white in colour. And if you replace a cream bellow with a white one, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So a few months ago, I was fortunate enough to see on eBay a genuine Hoover bellow for this in the cream colour. So I think this is the original colour. As far as I remember, it's the same colour as the one I replaced it with. So new bellows fitted. When I was polishing up this vacuum cleaner, one of the components inside the bag door broke off, which meant the bag door wouldn't stay in place. Every time you turned the cleaner on, the bag door would just fly out and you couldn't lift the machine from the handle. So what I discovered is this here, very fragile piece of plastic had come away from the main housing. So I have repaired it with Q-Bond. It's not a pretty repair, but you can't really see it. This had already been repaired by the looks of it because when this came off there was evidence of glue and this is a failure point on these machines. Now I did buy this part here, somebody was selling one of those on eBay but even though it was a replacement part I knew the replacement part was also broken because it was missing this vital part. So without this vital part this black piece is loose and it won't engage with the catch on the cleaner body so it doesn't secure the bag door but I bought it anyway even though I knew that the replacement was also broken I bought it just as a backup in case I messed up this and I had other ideas of how I could possibly fix it maybe with a cable tie instead of this piece drilling a couple of holes and you know pulling a cable tie over but that didn't work but fortunately the cube on so far has held in place. It's very strong stuff. As I said, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it is on the inside. So now it does hold this black catch in place, but I'm still a little bit careful with how I carry this machine because if that fails when I'm carrying the machine up the stairs, the back door will separate from the cleaner and 
we could have a smashed vacuum cleaner at the bottom of the stairs and I wouldn't want that. When I replaced the bellows, I also took everything apart. Oh, that needs emptying. And um, the bag compartment, everything was taken apart and washed. So it's all lovely and clean in there. Before I do a bit of a demo, I've got to empty out the dirt inside the bag. And I haven't been able to find a bag that fits very well, a fleece bag. So I think it's going to have to be the original paper bag I use. So that's basically what I did. So new brush roll bearings, a new headlight bulb. I repaired the bag door, bellows of course, and it's had a bit more of a clean up and it works lovely. And it even works on my plush pile carpet. And obviously I'll show you that in action. So I'm um, really pleased with it. And then I bought some cleaning tools. Now, I don't know if these are age appropriate, but they are cream in color. These tools will fit all the later Hoover Juniors from the U1036 onwards. Obviously not the Turbo Power Juniors, but this style of Junior that had the pan converter. Now these are an earlier set because they are cream. So they go with the machine. They did later change these to black tools. And the ones that are earlier than this, instead of a plastic handle, had a metal handle and I think the tools were white. So I'm not sure when this machine was in the shops which toolkit was available for it or whether it came with the tools because this is an electricity board exclusive. It might have come with the cleaning tools. So these appeared on eBay, a little bit discolored in places. They had had some use, but only very slight use. So the set consists of an all-purpose brush, a single plastic wand with Hoover's lock ring fitting. So again, I think this could be a little bit too late for this machine. They might have still been on the pip with the clip fitting, but I'm not sure. And it might have had a single metal wand. Here we have a slightly bent crevice tool, but in very good condition. The double stretch hose, but again, this will not, this will not stretch up a standard flight of stairs. It's not stair cleaning hose. And then finally, we have the pan converter. Whoops, a daisy that fits on the underside of the machine. So I'll show you how it fits. We need to connect the hose to the pan converter. Apologies for the squeaks. There we go, that's in place. And now we can fit it to the underside of the Hoover Junior High Power Compact. Unlike the earlier Juniors, the belt continues to rotate when you're using the tools with the earlier ones you've seen on my channel. You take off the front cover and you insert an adapter, turn it round and that lifts the belt off and then you put the hose in at the front. So yeah, that was a better way of doing it in my opinion. So when using the tools, as I said, the agitator continues to rotate, but with the pan converter covering it, it won't matter. It's not going to damage your carpet because it is, and that's quite a good tight fit actually. Sometimes the uh, little seal wears out on these. So now, as you can see, I can convert my Hoover High Power Compact for above floor cleaning. Why there's a suction control on this, I don't know. Hey, I might do, a, I'll do a suction test. It's not gonna be great, folks. But there you have it. So um, you can use your machine for your above floor jobs. So I can vacuum my footstool, my sofas, the stairs. I mean, it is, hmm, it is quite uh, stretchy, actually. I'll put it at the bottom of the stairs during this video and we'll see how far it reaches up, but it's certainly not going to reach right to the top. But, you know, it's still, a, it's a decent quality hose for this 80s vacuum. And I wonder if we can pull it along. Let's just pop those tools out of the way. It might just about, yes, you can sort of pull it along. If you're a bit vigorous with it, the cleaner might topple over. So I've got to be, I'm treating this machine with kid gloves because, you know, they're quite fragile, relatively rare, especially in this lovely condition. I'm, I was really pleased with it when I first got it and even more pleased with it now. So there we have it. So we're going to do a bit of a 
demo with this machine. But first, I'm going to test the old suction. If I can find my gauge, which is here it is in this drawer here. And because we lose a bit of suction with these lock ring fittings, you can close the lock ring and it helps to seal that little gap. But to seal it even more, I'm going to put this little adapter in. And then we can measure the enormous suction power of this Hoover High Power Compact. I'm being sarcastic. I have no idea. I can't even remember what uh, the Hoover Junior and Seniors that I've tested reach on the gauge. But if it gets over 20, I'd be very surprised. That barely reached 10, which I'm sure is less than the earlier Hoover Juniors, despite the fact that this was called high power compact. Obviously for carpet cleaning, this machine is pretty good, but most of the work is done by the Beats as it sweeps, as it cleans agitator. This had a fairly full bag. So let's just see if it does make a difference. I'm gonna take the bag out. It might spew a little bit of dust out but we can clean that up so with the bag out so it was 10 with a fairly clogged well it's got quite a bit of dirt in it that bag so it was 10 on the gauge without a bag with no restriction to the airflow we'll see if it's any better By removing the bag, we've increased the suction by a massive two points. It measured 12 on the gauge instead of 10. Deary me, not so good for your above floor cleaning. Let's just, I haven't done this. What's the suction like? Just judging it, oh well. We'll put the bag back in actually. I mean, for lightweight dusting and your upholstery, it'll be fine. But there is a reason why you find so many new and unused cleaning tools for old Hoover uprights on eBay because people either used them once and realised that's not very good or didn't even bother attempting to use them. This, they just came free and they didn't want them and they just shoved them in the loft. Right, let's uh, switch on. It's a bit awkward reaching for the switch. <laughs> It's not great. I reckon a Hoover Dustettes. <laughs> Hoover Dustettes will beat that. But anyway, it is what it is, folks. Where's my little brush? I expect, I expect that's why they put, with the Hoover Juniors, the all-purpose brush instead of the all-purpose nozzle, because at least with the brush, you do have a bit of brushing action to help dislodge the pet hairs and the, loosen the dirt and allow the very, very mediocre suction to uh, remove it into the dust bag. Anyway, we're going to try this cleaner out with the tools. I'm going to actually empty out some of the muck from the dust bag onto the footstool. We'll give it a quick go with the hose and then we'll put down some dirt on my carpet and we'll see how well this Hoover beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. <laughs>
Well folks, it's Sod's Law that I wasn't filming when this vacuum cleaner started smoking. You're far too old to start up smoking again, Hoover High Power Compact. I initially thought the bag had burst and dust was coming out, but the pungent burning smell in my living room uh, makes me think that something has gone wrong. But the cleaner was still working, so I did continue to film, hoping that we might have an old uh, suppressor blow on us. Oh, it's going to drop out bits now. Yes, oh dear. I don't think this uh, Hoover liked all that dirt inside it after being retired. Now I have unplugged, obviously, unplug before you undo any screws of any electrical appliance or computer equipment, whatever you do. Remove batteries or unplug. I think it's our old friend, the suppressor. Or, hmm, we can see, well, the flash pad doesn't work very well because, well, actually it has. There's no uh, debris inside the actual connectors. But where is the suppressor on this? Now, I thought this cleaner had the suppressor removed, but I can see it hiding. I don't want to touch it just in case there's any residual electricity, but it's it's tucked away sneakily just above that blue wire there. And it's one of the newer type. So it is, it's gone black. I'll try and zoom in and show you. So that is failing, but the cleaner was still running. I think with some suppressors, they can fail, but the, the cleaner can continue to run. So I'm going to switch this machine on with the uh, motor exposed. We'll see if we can uh, spot the suppressor dying in real time. Sorry to disappoint folks, we didn't get any dramatic bangs and flashes and me wetting my underpants. So I will have to remove this suppressor at some point. The cleaner continues to run, but it's probably best that I bypass it, or even better, if I can find a suitable replacement, I'll replace it. But if not, this cleaner will still run without that suppressor. And as you saw, it's still running now, even though the suppressor has definitely blown. Well, folks, I've decided to cut my losses. This is going to the dump today and I'm replacing it with this fabulous new Shark Stratos. <laughs> yes, I can hear you now. I can hear you shouting at the screen. Is any, any of you who are watching at this stage of the video must be into vacuum cleaners the same way I am, I suppose. So of course, of course, just because this beautiful vintage vacuum has rather upset me today by burning out its suppressor. Well, it's not an upset. It's just a minor inconvenience because we can rebuild her. We can repair her. She will work again. And this cleaner is from 1980 and she still works. I'm wondering if this shark will be working in three years. <laughs> Possibly not. It's a good machine and this will be coming up on my channel. I like it for a modern vacuum cleaner. It's a witch best buy, but it's not one that I will cherish forever. This one will probably get sold for someone to use and abuse. Unlike the Hoover High Power Compact that will be treasured for a long time. If you have any comments or questions about this cleaner or this cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.